Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin, an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. And I'm Adam, former indoor coach, current beach volleyball coach, and more importantly, Sarah's husband. Tightening it up. Wow, I know that I am giving him the reaction every single episode, but I'm just so impressed that his intro is getting tighter and tighter. Like, look at that. True YouTuber. I'm thinking about it. Adam spends all day secretly thinking about Haikyuu and how to better his intros and commentary. I'm so proud. Somewhat true. We've come so far in only six episodes. Has it only been six episodes? Today we are watching Haikyuu episode six called An Interesting Team. The boys are on their way to play a practice match, which that's very fast. I feel like they've had approximately zero days of team practice, <laughs> um, but they're going to play Seijo. I think it's wild that Hinata's gonna be in the middle. So I'm, cu I'm really curious to see how that and his nerves play out in his first match, because I think it could be a real train wreck. Tanaka's got a lap full of barf. Oof. That's a mess. That's gonna be, like, that's the kind of thing that is, he'll never leave him for his entire high school career. Remember that time you puked on the bus? That is gonna be a thing forever. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we did learn that Hinata's playing middle. We also learned that one of the stipulations to Seijo saying yes to this game was that Kageyama has to be the setter. Which is somewhat wild to me because I've never heard of that happening. Like, we'll only play a practice game with you if we can determine your roster. I think it's speaking to like the extreme difference in level. Yeah, I mean, I no, I understand it from their point of view on, on several levels, but it just doesn't seem like a thing you do. We're about to see some conflict, I think. And we all know how I feel about that. Love the drama. Okay. Ready. Let's do it. As I said, today we're watching Haikyuu Season 1, Episode 6. We're gonna check out this practice match, maybe meet some new characters, see what Adam thinks about them. So stay tuned, because it's coming right now. The gurgle is so graphic. The solution. Okay, so Hinata's still nervous. Tanaka's gonna have to throw away those pants. And Kageyama's solution is to just beat the nervousness out of them. <laughs> it's tough you lose your team swag on day one of the first bus trip. They were so excited about that new gear too. I don't know. As everybody is. Yeah. Um, Interesting screen. The crows. We're starting out with the crows. Got that vis. That's short for visual. あれがいるとこだろ。あれ、オート状の王様。お前、出身中はこの人ろ。現代人。ああ、鍵山っすか。別に大したことないっすよ。確かに個人技は頭一つ抜けてましたけど、チームプレーってもんが根本的に向いて
あとそういや柄も悪いやついたな坊主で目つき悪くてさ頭悪そうな顔したうーんえー、とうちをあんまなめてと食い散らかすぞ、えー、<笑>そんな威嚇しちゃダメですよ田中さんエリートの方々がびっくりしちゃってかわいそうじゃないですか別にビビってねえよあのメガネ誰だあんなタッパのやつカラスのにいたかおおそうだないじめんのは試合中だけにしてやんねえとなお前らちょっと目離した隙に失礼しましたあいいえまかその顔やめろ久しぶりじゃねえの王様そっちでどんな独裁政権敷いてんのか楽しみにしてるわ I mean, I, I I love the interaction. A little bit of trash talking before the match starts. A little bit of yeah, I don't know. I like it. I, I know I know you don't like Tan Tanaka, the middle. Me? I, everybody... Tsukushima, the T's. He's getting the T's mixed up. Tsukushima is the tall middle. Yeah. I know people don't like him, but like that to me, I I'm I'm all, I'm all in for it. No, give me that all day when it's directed to the other team. Okay. Okay? I am like the kind of person, like if you look at my teammate the wrong way, I'm about to like come after you. True story. Um, Don't so, poke the bear. That's the thing. So yeah, so I appreciate that side of him, but it's when it's directed to his teammates that I'm like, dude, let it go. I mean, in fairness, he was playing in a three on three match when it happened. I will also say I am obsessed with how Tanaka is defending his teammates so quickly. Yeah, I like it. Like... I feel like he's going to play a big role on the team later on in the season. Like, I'm not commenting on that. Um, I appreciate that. <laughs> you know how much I love predictions though, so keep them coming. I will. But I need to be selective about what I choose to comment on or not. Um, but I love, they've only been like a team for like a week and a bit and he is like defending them. Um, so I'm all about that. Speaking of predictions, I feel like in this situation, anything over 20 would be a success. Like would be a good match for them. If the I mean, discrepancy they did... is that high and they're new and they, you know, first year setter, like, I feel like if they can get to 20, that would be like a good start to the season for them. Yeah. I mean, they did say last episode that Seijo was a top four team in the prefecture yeah. and Kerasun has been struggling. So yeah. I think that's, that's fair. Lefty. I was just gonna say that. But that's how it is. Yeah. We know you suck. <laughs> he literally passed away. He's gonna have nothing left to play with. Oh, <laughs> 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 
うちの王様は相変わらず偉そうだったけどそんなんじゃねえ偉そうなんてもんじゃねえんだよ影山大王の独裁のもと俺という臣民を虐げられ日々苦渋を味わっているんだちょっとうまいからって調子に盛り上がってほらね<笑>すげえきれいレシーブもブロックもサーブもうまいことはうまいんですよそうそう腹立つで,でもトスだけは最悪あトスがすげえなあお前実際の試合で影山のトス打ったことないんだろうありゃひどいよ打ちづらいったらねえのえそうなのあいつは自己中の王様だからセッターのくせにスパイカーに打たせるっていう当然のことができてねえんだ影山にとって必要なのは自分の思い通りに動く駒なんだよ自分が勝つためにいらないものはポイポン<笑>影山が中学のままかどうかは試合で見てみろよらっきょくんなあ日向自分が勝つためにいらないものはポイもし影山の前でヘマやらせた。Who's in your bro house? Tanaka? Yeah. No, it's growing on me. Growing on me. Adam picked up that love for Tanaka quick though. Every team needs somebody like him. He's always there, lurking in the hallways, watching out for his teammates. Not in a creepy、teammates. way though. Not in a creepy way. I mean, he poked his head around the corner and then he was just standing there while I was going to the bathroom. So, I mean, take your pick on that one. But it's, I, I get a good vibe. I like it. So, wait, you have Tanaka and you had somebody else that you added in last time. Was it Suga or Daichi? I think maybe did you put them in together? Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm gonna need to write down the bro house. Yeah, you, you do.、Um, Daichi and Suga, as I said, were the first、yeah. two additions of mine. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure you put Daichi in. Let me know. Daichi and Tanaka. Okay, okay. Whoa. He's gonna have to get over there. I'm not loving how Ken Daichi is talking about Kageo. Wrong thing to say. Wrong thing to get the pretty manager to go talk to a 15 year old boy. How old would she be? She's a third year. Like she's, she's an older lady. She's an older woman. She's the same age as like Daichi and Suga. Yeah.、Um, how did you feel about them both commiserating over Kageyama, but then they were like, and his setting is, and then one was like awful, and then Hinata was like amazing? Well, I originally thought Hinata was playing along. No, she was serious. Well, I know I didn't realize that until later, and I was like, oh, that's smart. He's gonna like give him a false sense that nothing has changed. And then I was like, oh, wait, no, he's serious. Hinata doesn't think that much. Yeah. He just says whatever he's feeling. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually a little surprised that he said that because he did do those things, but he also. I, I thought they had a little more of a bond than that. Like, it's not something you would say to an opponent. You know, you know Again, I, mean? I don't think that he has the presence of mind to really think that. But, anyways, I loved that it kind of threw Kendaichi for a loop. Yeah, fair enough. He still looks like he's gonna vomit. And their jerseys suck. They're pennies, they're playing a practice match. Oh, 
Like he's dead with no irises. Yeah, but he eyes. Tanaka asked Kagiyama, is he breathing? No, he's not breathing. I mean normally like I get the nervousness part, but like you don't really settle in as you do a few things. No, but he's remembering Kendaichi's comment. No, I get anything that Kagiyama doesn't need, he gets rid of. I get that, but it's already 2413. Like it was it's a self-fulfilling prophecy at this point. Yeah. Like, he's making it come true. Um, we didn't see one good play from him. From anybody. I mean, he was definitely more of a hindrance than anything. He was just in the way. Yes. Um, I mean, 24-13, the game is over at that point. Like, yeah. the percentage chance that somebody comes back from that kind of deficit. Zero. Not quite zero. zero. Almost zero. Uh, <laughs> okay, let me ask, have you ever seen anybody come back from down 24-13? In beach volleyball, one time I actually did see yeah. somebody come down, come back from 20 to 10, and you only played a 21. If I know which game you're referring to, that might be the worst meltdown I've ever seen. But I don't think, no, it's not the game you're referring to. It happened in Rome. It's not what he, anyways. Um, but for him to hit Kageyama in the back of the head of oh. all people. Icing on the cake. I'm curious what the post first set team talk is going to be like. Because they got to write this shit. That was not, embarrassing. Not pretty. This is just gone. <laughs> Oh, 
もう緊張する理由はないよなもうやっちまったもんな一番怖いことそれじゃあもっともそれじゃ運転に戻ればやろう It was so close <笑>今のヘマはセーフあ、何の話だは今のがセーフなら何やらかしても大体大丈夫じゃねえかあのラッキョヘッドビビらせやがって No, I'm in a many things to do. Oh, I could have hit that. Oh, my. Poker, no, yes, me, tiny, Josie, and like a little bit of a look at it. It's so many. Shanto, you're a night. Oh, that's so said a little girl. Oh, it's psycho, but it's shiny. Did I got up? Oh, it's not in my own. Oh, my God, that's not a good one. What can I get to the bottom? I have I have somebody I played with in high school who reminds me of that. Really? Yeah. He was a. My high school team was quite good, and we had a a basketball player who we needed some extra guys, and he just came on, and he was just happy to be there, and he was like everybody's best friend. Yeah, it just reminded me of that. Oh. Just a great team guy. I love that. I'm trying to think of. I think it's all the Brazilians that are coming to mind for me. Mm -hmm. There was Gabi. She was so young back then. Yeah. Like she was really, really young, so her role was a little bit different. Yeah. Well, she but was 16 at that point. She point, was like 17. 17 or 18. And like she was so bubbly and fun and wasn't let like impacted by the pressure and stuff because like the expectations weren't like on her yet and mm -hmm. so she always made everybody laugh um and then i think of like hejani who's probably the other one who was like an older player but like in her role like she was a backup left side and so she was always like so fun and quick to make people laugh um those two came to my mind immediately but Kagiyama made a good point. Which one? The scariest thing that could have happened today already happened. Mm. So there is nothing else for you to worry about. His delivery afterwards. I mean, he's he's gro I mean, his intention was good. <laughs> Some people just can't help themselves. Yeah. <laughs> おい、後で後頭部狙うサーブ教えて。あ、僕にも後で教えてね。エヌさん、エヌさん。この前の3対3と同じだ。お前は相手のブロックをいないところへマックスのスピードとジャンプで飛んでスイング。他のスパイカー
This guy needs to quit. At every left side oh, ever. <laughs> That's why it works so well. Well, Ka Kageyama explained to him what it meant to be a decoy last episode. He seemed a little upset about it, then was manipulated into thinking it was something cool. <laughs> and now he got to live it in real life. Felt embarrassed. He, but. No. No, he did feel embarrassed. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. He shouldn't. That's what makes it so effective. But it's, it's also hilarious that Kageyama was like, set him up. It's like, you gotta go. Because he won't understand yet what yeah. that does. Like, jump, go. And you can't, you gotta commit. That's the gig. You gotta look real every time in the middle. Yeah, an opponent can tell immediately if 100%. you're, like, not committed to actually hitting the ball. And then it makes it so much easier to block everybody else. But that that's is, what, sorry. No, I was gonna say, that's the hardest part about coaching young middles, mm. is they don't get that. Yeah, they only want to come in hard when they know they're getting set. And yeah. it's like, it's not all about you. Yeah. It's about the team. Um, but he tried to explain that to him last episode. He's like, you need to make sure that you're up in the air early so that I can set you and then you'll open things up for everybody else. He clearly didn't pay super close attention yeah, to that. Yeah, close to vomiting. Yeah. But they made good contact. Blew yeah. right by turnip head. Didn't even Not even move. flinch. Not even flinch. Oh, face ball again. Good cover. Oh. <laughs> he just loves his he hand loves hitting the ball. That. Yeah, 
監督あのどういう影山が振り下ろされる手のひらピンポイントにボールを合わせているんだと思うそんなことが可能なのかあの影山が他人に合わせてる噂に聞く自己中心的でプライドが高い影山にそうさせるほどの能力があの5番にはあるってことなんだろうな何がすごいって 100% 影山のトスを信じて飛んでるってことだよボールはここに上がってくるとブロック振られてもレシーブしっかり上げてけこっちだって今出せるベストメンバーなんだプライド見せろよはいもうちょっとしこもすごいですね影山やっぱうちで取れなかったのは痛かったですね声はかけてたんですよねうんでも影山がうちに来たからといってあんなふうなプレーをしてくれたかはわからないよカラスのだったからあの5番がいたからこその今の影山なのかもしれないおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおい He's right where he's supposed to be. That's why, it, why it's so important to surround yourself with great people. 100%. Anyways, I thought that was an interesting comment, especially as Kageyama was taking a big swipe at Hinata. <laughs> it's also interesting that a coach from an opposing team would be like, he might not have fit here even though he's good. Yeah. I respect that. Everybody stares at their hand all the time. See that coming.
Who's that? Oikawa. Same little house? No. Oikawa with glasses is in love. <laughs> what makes you think that? See, Adam can pick up some attractive anime characters. I can pick up the characters that you will find attractive. But you were wrong. Kageyama was not in the love house. That doesn't make him not your type though. Oh my gosh. Anyways. So, they exceeded our, your expectations. Kind of. The first set was worse than I thought it was going to be. And oh. the second set was better than I thought it was going to be. You said if they break 20 points, they're doing great. 100%. And they won a set. Yeah, 100%. Um, so, Kageyama's statement, I don't think that their setter's the main setter. We're left with a bit of a cliffhanger. I mean... My instinct before that line happened was this team being more skilled was going to tighten up, make some adjustments, and they'll probably lose. I don't know if they're playing two of three or three of five. Two of three. They'll probably lose the next set um, just based off errors and inexperience would be my prediction. But coming into a match like that, having won one set, the team now believes that they can do something and they can play with those top teams, which I think is a, a really good motivator for them. Yeah, I mean, the first set was a definite yard sale. No, um, yeah. Pieces and players were flying everywhere. Mostly one player. Mostly Hinata. Um, but everybody tightened up. I, and I thought the team interaction with him was good. Like, there were a couple people who went out of their way to try and make things better for him, including... Um, the setter. Kageyama. Kageyama. Kind of. He, he got three quarters. He, of the way he there. did it in his way. But no, it was, it was good. Definite progress. And I think the message that they're trying to give him is like, hey, we don't have crazy expectations of you. We understand where you're at. They're saying it in a high school boy type of way. I said, like, we know you suck. Smack. Um, but like, I think that's nice to be like, we don't have crazy expectations. Like we understand where you're at, where our team is at. So let's just like figure it out, which is awesome. Yeah. It's quite frankly, a very mature approach for guys of that age, I would say. Yes. Their <laughs> delivery, not so much, but we can't expect anything else. Um, Are we going to see, do we see more like sequential plays? Do you know what the, do you know what the next episode is? Um, I don't remember. Okay. Cause like we're seeing highlights. It would be interesting to see like a bit of a back and forth. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping the next episode is like a little more matchy. I will say as the seasons progress, you get like more volleyball in deep. Yeah. Um, but yes, we are left with Oikawa at the finish. I'm sure we will learn more about him. Adam thought he would be in my love house. Looks wise, absolutely. With glasses, 100%. Um, but yeah, love this. We're seeing progress already. Um, we would like to hear your thoughts. So hit us up with your comments. Um, Nothing super controversial this episode. I will say in this go around, in the comments that I have been reading, everybody is jumping on the Adam bandwagon of like, oh, I love Adam's opinion. Sarah's to insert the adjective. <laughs> on Sarah's first time through, she was way too blank. So people are loving your insight. It's just, um, it's new. Apparently, I don't well. understand. Some people are saying, I don't understand the plight of an average or some par athlete, and I'm too elite, so I don't like, I didn't have enough empathy for he not of my first go round. Um, whatever, <laughs> to each their own. I would, <laughs> That's why we brought Adam, he's nice. I mean, I, I would say that your experience wouldn't necessarily at this age, 
you were playing on the national team. And at this age, we were trying to field my city's first volleyball team. So I feel like I can relate to these guys a little bit more than you can. This is why we're the dynamic duo, okay? I can relate to certain characters. We won't name them all yet because Adam hasn't met them. And Adam can relate to some characters. So that's why we are salt and pepper. Why you I'm aging my myself. I'm not making fun of your hair. Adam, jeez. We're aging ourselves again because there was a rap duo back when we were young called Salt and Pepper. He doesn't even know me. I do. He doesn't do even that. know me. Anyways, that, we would love to hear your comments, but only if they're saying nice things about me this time. Uh, and also, we would be so happy if you'd like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned because more Haikyuu is coming next week. Thanks, guys. Oh. One more?